I'm Zoe and welcome back to my channel Zoe's All Booked. If you're new here, welcome to the shit show and welcome to day two of Couch Miss. If you don't know what Couch Miss is, it's where I tried to do 31 videos in 31 days, all bookish videos, all filmed right here on the couch with the Christmas tree and my PJs and usually with a chai latte because I have an addiction. It's a problem. Today is all about my December TBR and I was gonna like... I'm gonna be kind of chill about it. There's only like one... No. I'm gonna do my best to be chill about it, but I don't think that's realistically gonna happen because it's me. And if you've ever seen one of my TBRs before, you know that I am usually a little bit out of control. A lot out of control, let's be honest. Currently sitting at... Who's emailing me? Spam. Okay. I'm almost done with my reading goal for the year. It's currently November 29th. I'm filming this a little bit last minute and I'm sitting at 192 books out of 200. I'm currently listening to one, reading a physical copy, and I just opened up an ebook last night and I have a few more Christmas books. So I'm hoping to get at least to 194 by December 1st when it actually starts. So I'll only need to read six books for December. But that's not actually gonna happen because I have a couple more vlogs that I need to film and I have an addiction to holiday books and I have a series that I want to reread um, and then it, like finally actually finish. So that's how this TBR started. It was gonna be like just a chill, nostalgic reread the first few books in the series and finally finish it because I've been trying to do this for like a year and I still haven't done it. And then I realized that I needed to film another vlog that I haven't been able to get to all of November and then I have a bunch of other holiday books that I want to read so here we are it's probably going to be at least 20 books long because I have a problem. So let's just dive into this with the series that I originally wanted to start The A-List by Zoe Dean. I started rereading it uh, December of last year maybe of 2023 and then into January of this year I think it was and I just kind of fizzled out with reading them. There are 10 books in the series and I've read the first five or six, I wanna say. Let me see what the reading order is. This is the last one, yeah. So we've got The A-List and then Girls on Film and then where are... Blonde Ambition followed by Tall Cool One and then Back, yeah, Back in Black and Some Like It Hot I can't hold those ones anymore. I think I was on American Beauty, possibly. And then we've got Heart of Glass, Beautiful Stranger, and finally, California Dreaming. So this series follows Anna, who lives on... What the fuck happened to this book? That got wet or something. Anna lives on the East Coast with her mom, and she decides that she needs a change in her life. She needs to get out from under her like best friend's shadow because her best friend is awesome and does all these things and Anna doesn't and she wants to. So she's like, I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna move to California and live with my dad. I'm gonna finish out high school with my dad and it's gonna be awesome. And then, you know, hopefully go to Princeton or something. I think it's, I think it's Princeton. Um, I could be mixing that up with a Cinderella story. Who knows? And then she gets there and she meets all of these people who turn out to be just like really garbage people. And then we see how garbage really Anna can be sometimes. And she's very, she's very naive. And I think she falls into the uh, not like other girls thing a lot, but it's very entertaining. Everyone's super shit, but like in a very entertaining way. That's, that's really the only way I know how to put it. Like it's fascinating to see how garbage these people can be. And then the 10 books follow, I think like their, their last year of high school going into college. I think they're off to college in the last one. Yeah, college is just a week away in the last one. So before school starts the entire year and then I think the, the summer. Like I said, I've read up to I think book six. I read the first four way back when. Bless you. When I started these, when I was like a young teenager, never ended up getting any more of the books and I've been looking for them at used bookstores. I finally found them last year and I was like, bet I'm gonna start reading them. And then again, I fizzled out a little. So I definitely want to get to these ones to finish out the year. And then aside from that, I've got a vlog that I need to do. I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure which books I'm going to read for this vlog, actually. I started doing it last year for Couch Miss, and I intended on doing it at the beginning of November, but all my kids were sick, and I was really sick, and I was not able to 
do the things that I needed to do to read this vlog. It's where I get super stony baloney and read unhinged romances. Last year I had started and I did like a couple. I read Stuffed, the one where a pillow comes to life and they boink. Stuffed by the wear turkey, where a turkey comes to life and they boink. I think Unhinged was the, the other one I was gonna read where a doorknob or a door itself, I'm not 100% sure, comes to life and they boink. So I don't know if I'm gonna reread those ones, the, the first two, but basically it's, it's along those lines. So if you have any good recommendations for completely unhinged romances like that, let me know. The shorter the better, because I want to read like several in one night, and I just want to see how ridiculous it is. Because like, I, I know like if I'm completely sober, they're gonna be ridiculous, but like why not? just read them while I'm stoned, you know? Like, just, just for funsies. I think I had on the list some of ye, like, dinosaur romances and Kissing the Coronavirus, that one. I have to read that one, honestly. So anything, anything along those lines, drop the recs in the, in the comments because I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking for love. And then I have a bunch of holiday romances that I got on Kindle Unlimited. I've already read a few of them, which you'll see in my November wrap up. Can you? focus here. I've got, let's see, can we see? I don't know if we can actually see that. If not, I'll put it up on the screen. Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I actually don't know what most of these are about. I just saw Christmas and I, uh, I downloaded them and it's just going to be like a little bit of a fun surprise. I want to go back to the, give me the cover. Give me the, thank you. Snowed In by Catherine Walsh, not to be confused with Snowed In, the movie about the the guy and the thing and the I don't even know. Kindle, you are you're pissing me off. Um, Holiday Romance by Catherine Walsh again. And then I think I read no oh no, there's a couple more. Resting Scrooge Face by Megan Quinn. Super excited about that one because I'm currently reading How My Neighbors Stole Christmas. Fucking loving it. And then the last one here, Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. And I think that's all the ones that I had downloaded that I haven't gotten to that I don't Think I'll be getting to within the next less than 48 hours. That's it. If I have any other ones, um, I have a couple that I didn't get to, um, like fantasy audiobooks from November that I'll probably pick up, but I don't know. Because I think I just want to be, like, like I said, I want to try and be semi chill in December, aside from, you know, the 10 book series and then the, the vlog and all the holiday romances, but like, that's. For me, that's pretty chill, but mm, I have a couple books that I was like thinking about from the TBR, but I think I'm just gonna add those to my January one because why not? Why not start the year off with a bang? I had originally planned on doing this TBR in a different kind of format that I just didn't have time to do. So I'm gonna try and do that for January, which is like fitting for starting with the bang because it's gonna be a little different, the format, and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, yeah, we'll save, we'll save that. It's like some thrillers and some whatnots um, that I mentioned in a video coming out on day five, I think. But yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it to like the nostalgia and then the holiday romances and the unhinged romances. Again, if you have any recommendations for that or really cute holiday books, let me know. Um, Cause again, I'm just, I'm looking for some recs, but that's it. Short and sweet. How many minutes? 11 and a half minutes. Bam. Okay. Go team. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you're planning on reading for December, if you have any holiday books that you're planning on reading, if you are close to your, your reading goal, um, or if you're super far away, let me know how you're doing with that. Um, if you even did a reading goal, are you one of those people that just, that doesn't track them? Like, if so, teach me your ways, because I don't know how to not do that. But I don't know if I want to not do that. I don't know. Either way, let me know all the things, or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below. Preferably purple ones or pink because my my beautiful bookish star um, down below in the comments. Where did the words go? I found them. I reeled them in. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, and if I get through all of these, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, TikTok, Storygraph, Threads. And I think that's it. 
I think, I think, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's too many of these fucking things. I'll add Zoe's all booked, which I will leave linked down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video so everyone else can join in on the madness, the chaos, the shit show. With that, we have come to the very end of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. Uninterrupted. I'm like stuffy and I can't say that word right now. I love you awesome wor awesome words. I love you awesome nerds and I will see you in the next one for Couch Was Day 3, which I, you think I would know by now because I've looked at this damn thing so many times, which is my anti-TBR. I am so excited about this. Books that I will never read. So tune in tomorrow for that and uh, see if we have a similar I don't ever want to read this fucking book taste. Okay, love you, bye.